So with Lords of the Fallen being a brand new game, after playing it for a few hours, I thought I'd bring you guys the settings I recommend you adjusting to to make your playthrough a little more efficient in regards to smoothness within gameplay and combat, as well as that visual. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So loading up and playing Lords of the Fallen, I knew straight away things needed to be changed in regards to the way this game felt. You can only do so much, but the little you can do actually for me made it feel much better, especially visual wise. Now this is for console only by the way, PS5 and the Xbox Series X. PC settings are an entirely different board game and the spectrum over there varies massively on your very own setup. With consoles, it's a little more straightforward. Okay, so bring up your inventory menu and tab across to settings, then over to graphics. Here from what I've played so far, performance mode is definitely the one to be using for the time being under that render mode. The game right now does battle with those frames in certain scenarios uh, that I have noticed. So being on performance mode, although it does lower the overall quality of what you are seeing, be not much as my old eyes can see i just feel the increased frame rate uh, for me is just visually better than those distant objects you pay really no attention to in the heat of a battle and there's nothing worse than frames dropping within these moments although they still seem to drop a little within that performance mode for me it's still the better mode to use right now i ain't sure what uh, fps we get while in quality mode but within battle, it doesn't feel like much. Bear in mind, the game's just being released. Upcoming patches will fix issues players may be having. So my opinion on this and what I'm seeing right now will not always be the case. So keep that in mind. Now motion blur. This for me is best always turned off. Film grain, believe it or not for me, kind of looks better in that performance mode. This isn't something I usually have turned on, but I kind of think with this game and the stunning visuals in which you want to see, it weirdly seems to help in most cases. Chromatic aberration I turned off instantly. This only seemed to me like it was added to that blur effect, especially around the size of my screen, and it's not nice to look at whatsoever. So this for me is definitely a no-go. What I will say is, depending on your TV or monitor, some of these settings may act differently in regards to what you see and might not be something you enjoy so definitely try and test with these settings if that is the case for you and if you have a specific monitor don't forget a lot of these gaming monitors these days do have their very own settings for games like these which can definitely add to that visual performance now the sound tab is 100% dependent on your very own setup my headphones had no problem with the default settings I mean, there are a few screeches I hear once every so often, which I think are tied to the environment volume. But as I really don't have my headset on that loud, it isn't a problem for me. We should definitely keep an eye on that. So gameplay wise, most of these are personal preference. What I would turn off if it's on for you is that auto change target. This right now is kind of horrible, especially when you are fighting more than a few enemies. As a lot of the time, this auto lock feature will lock on after you've taken an enemy out, but it locks onto the enemies furthest away from what I have seen. This means when you are trying to attack and keep hold of a combo that you may have, you totally miss because you're swinging for an enemy in the distance. I mean, it's easy to lock onto enemies. The auto lock feature, in my opinion, does more harm than good in the flow of battle. When this is off, you simply just lock at an enemy while you're in that auto lock on mode and it just shifts to a different enemy. It's way, way easier than an auto lock on after an enemy is taken out. So yes, that auto change target, in my opinion, does more harm than good in the flow of battle. Okay, so grievous strike lock on. I turn this off too. This I do get why a certain player so would use such, but for me within the early hours was putting me off more times than not. This I will probably come back once I level up and turn back on and experiment with when I'm messing around with different builds. But as of right now, guys, I'm turning this off. And I recommend you within the early days do the exact same. Now, I know some people will come back here and let it run down the line of this game being out and say this should be on, which is fair enough. I totally get that. But as of right now, within the early days, guys, I recommend you turning this off. Now, a big thing for me was the camera speed. 
this I at least doubled over that standard value of 100. While I like that default value, I was finding it a little more of a pain in the ass to quickly spin the camera around to lock onto targets coming up behind me. Now this is something you might not have a problem with as of right now, but even still, I'd recommend you getting used to a value of around 150 anyway, as things do heat up later on, and being able to spin that camera around quickly is definitely beneficial in my opinion. Now the camera shake options here for me anyway, don't seem too bad at all. For the most part, I haven't even noticed them. These are something I'd certainly turn off in other games, but within this game guys, within Lords of the Fallen, I barely notice they are on. Yes, I'm still within the early days, I'm not gonna lie, as the game progresses, as I unlock more things, as I start experimenting with different builds and different play styles, these may be something I come and turn off. But as of right now guys, the camera shake options for me don't seem too bad whatsoever. Ever. But again, this is something it's dependent on the player's eye. So if this is something that annoys you, if the camera is shaking and you notice it to a point where it's putting you off that gameplay, a lot like what Motion Blur does with me and many other players, then I'd definitely come in here, guys, and turn this off. Again, that camera shake can be an annoying option for many, many players. And it's actually one of the first things players look for in that options menu to turn off alongside that Motion Blur. But for me, as I said, it doesn't seem that much of a problem as of right now. So moving on to the prioritize quick shot feature. So as it states, when locked onto an enemy, precision aiming is deactivated in favor of a quick shot, release the lock on to enable precision aiming. Deactivating this option will always trigger precision aiming, even when locked onto a target. Now this, I feel I do have more control over what I am doing with my attacks when it's turned off. But I guess that might be something you'd want to get used to first. But personally, having this thing off might be better for you in the long run. Getting used to it within the early hours seems like the logical choice. Or you could just leave it on and play as the game recommends you do. But for me guys, the logical choice as of right now would be to turn this off. At least turn it off and test it and see how you get on. But there we have it guys, my recommended settings for console players. Try and test them and see how you feel. Don't forget, it's normally always each to their own. But from when I first loaded up to how the game feels now, it's a night and day difference for me. But there we have it guys. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, loads of the fall and be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.